what's going on everybody? My name is Manatui, and we're coming back at you with the UU Live, this time featuring Flapple, which is a very cool Pokemon. Apologies for the last couple days without uploads. I did record an Indeedee Live that was supposed to go up yesterday, but unfortunately, during YouTube processing, it just it wouldn't process, and then I went back into my editing software, and everything was corrupted, or whatever. Um, I don't really understand it, but that live is lost. I'll be doing another live with Indeedee in the future. Uh, but for now, I've been having a lot of fun with this Flapple team. Very cool mon. Uh, Hustle, fantastic ability, obviously, if you land your attacks. Terrible ability if you miss. Outrage, grab Apple, Sucker Punch, Dragon Dance with the Adamant Nature. You can run Jolly if you want to. Just like Adamant to boost that uh, Sucker Punch damage and boost damage on this thing in general. Fizz Def Aromatisse has been pretty useful for this team. Um, it's... I think, um... I think, what's it called? Alchemy is a little bit better right now. However, Aromatisse does give you Wish Support, which Alchemy does not, and I feel like that's very useful for a team like this. Uh, especially for to wish into things like a Scavalier or Rhyperior, or even Flapple at times. Uh, but otherwise, looking at my opponent's team, it's very weak to Flapple. Like, obviously, he has no Dragon Switch in whatsoever. I'm going to attempt to... Hmm. I'm going to lead with my Rhyperior, as he does end up leading with his Gudra. I should be able to live any hit that he wants to go for. Uh, unless it's like a surf or something. As he opts to Dynamax and hit me with the Max Hailstorm, which we'll do a lot, but we will be able to eat it, thankfully. Uh, and now I'll go right into Aromatis. I can protect to uh, stall out a little bit of the Dynamax as he does go for the Max Hailstorm again. There's a chance he has Sludge Bomb. And I'm going to pull the switch right out into his Cavalier to test that. Okay, no, he's just going to hit me with the Max Flare. <laughs> I. Alright, well, I don't get that play, but sure. Um, well, either way. I am going to go for the Wish here, because I should be able to live whatever he wants. In fact, I'm going to Protect first. I don't mind if you switch out. Um, very unfortunate for me. I should be able to live this hit unless he's Specs or something along those lines. We are able to tank it. And then we'll just Protect to Wish on up. Obviously, he can go Gengar if he wants to, though my Arcanine should be able to deal with it. So he actually ends up going Kingler. I'm a little confused by this play, because Sun is up, and this is not going to be doing as much damage to me. And Moonblast is going to do a ton to him, because Kingler has terrible Spadef. Yeah, so we're going to eat that hit easily. And we're almost going to straight up knock him out with that. So I'll wish up here. Because that's only going to be doing, you know, around 40 damage. Yeah, so now I click Moonblast again. And we are going to remain at a decent amount of HP. Uh, I think we're out of range of Haxus' Poison Jab if he's not Life Orb. Could be wrong about that, though, obviously. He's going to go Gengar. Again, I do have an Arcanine, which this is going to be Arcanine's main purpose this game. Just switching into this thing. Yeah, he's going to go right for the Shadow Ball. He does end up being Life Orb. Now I can just go for the Morning Sun and get myself to a decent amount of HP. If he goes Gudra, which he does not, he decides to attack me again on Morning Sun again. Uh, if he goes Gudra, I can live the hit and just Willow spin back. Draco Meteor should not knock me out. I am maxed to death on my Arcanine. He's going for Spadef drops. He's unable to get them. And here... Here I'll click Flamethrower, as he does click Sludge Wave, uh, as I do to get disabled. I think this is okay. Obviously, I would have preferred to uh, keep this thing healthy. But I needed to get rid of the Gengar, because I have absolutely no switch into that. And ideally, uh, Rhyperia will still be able to hit, eat a hit from Gudra. Speaking of which, here it is. Uh, I will attempt a Morning Sun. Obviously, he can knock me out with the Dragon move, potentially even like a offensive Thunderbolt or something along those lines. Though I'm not actually sure, because Arcanine is surprisingly bulky. That's definitely not going to kill me. <laughs> I'll Morning Sun up again in that case. And he goes right out into Haxorus. Okay. I will go right for the... Extra okay. I'm not exactly sure what he's going for. At, in this, at this point, I can go Aromatisse as he does end up going for the close combat. I don't really need Aromatisse for much else. I will attempt to wish as he goes for the Rock Slide, which we will be able to eat, and then I can just protect. I'm not sure what... Uh, I'm not exactly sure what he's doing. At this point, I'm convinced he's not Dragon Dance or Setup in any way. So he goes Jolteon. I will be able to protect. Just scout this thing. And then, uh, since obviously Jolteon no longer gets HP Ice, I can wall it with Rhyperior, though if he clicks Shadow Ball have to deal with it in other ways. And by dealing with it other ways, let me just stay in and click Moonblast, basically. Uh, so he does click Shadow Ball. I will just wish up. 
And he is going to end up forfeiting. Alright, so we're going to win our first game of the live. Flapple didn't really get to do anything that game, but the potential was definitely there. And this is the game Flapple... It's going to be t Actually, if I Dynamax with Flapple, it can put in a ton of work, because I can obviously drag and move this. Uh, drag and move this, plus it doesn't want to switch into Apple Acid. Apple Acid, you, drag and move, drag and move. And then I can use the uh, max darkness on the on the double aid, which is very cool. Uh, looking at my opponent's team, I believe I want to lead with Escavalier. As he leads Como, um, yeah, I'll go straight out into Arcanine as he does end up getting up his rocks, and then I'll just go for the burn at that point. Uh, if he wants to go Umbreon, that's fine. I don't mind burning that thing whatsoever. So he ends up going Stigolith, smart play. Uh, However, I do have the flamethrower, and we will be able to eat that hit, so Morning Sun right back on up. Alright, so he is Roost as well. Important to note. Alright, so Air Slash, probably Psychic. He wouldn't have the, um... I don't think he'd be, um, Energy Ball in that case. And he's not, he ends up going right out into Quagsire, which is fine. This is an opportunity for me to go out into my Aromatis. And just fire off a Moonblast. He doesn't have great Moonblast switch-ins, and he's just going to Earthquake again. Which is fantastic. I'll wish up here. And then just Moonblast again. Get some nice chip off onto the Drapion. Uh, here, I can go hard into Rhyperior, and I will be able to get up my rocks here. Well, I will not be able to get up my rocks, unfortunately. So, you're going to go Como, which is interesting. Um... Body press, right? That's the thing that you run now, is what I understand now. So, Aromatis, we go. I'll just click Moonblast again. I don't really care all that much what you go into. If you go Quagsire, I'm going hard into my Flapple and just starting to set up. He's going to go double aid. Fortunately, I do have an Arcanine right here. And I, yeah, I will make this double here. Unfortunately, he does not go into what I wanted him to. However, we can just click Sludge Wave into a KO him. If he opts to go Umbreon, which he does, we actually get a Poison off onto him, which is fantastic. Uh, but also, I can go right out into my Scavalier as he ugh, goes hard for Foul Play. I figured he'd heal Bell. Does he get Heal Bell? I actually don't know if this thing gets Heal Bell right now. So that's my bad. Uh, but either way, we're actually in a decent spot because we were able to weaken the Umbreon, which is the primary check to uh, Flapple. And we're weakening the Double Blade, which was also a check to Flapple, which is fantastic. So, we will go Arcanine here. Obviously, he's going to go for the Iron Head. I'll click Flamethrower here in case he expects me to double. As he just goes Combo and I get the burn, which is very fortunate for me. Ooh, I can attempt to get up rocks here. I don't think Air Slash knocks me out. And it doesn't, so we are able to get up rocks. Fantastic. I will go for the Earthquake here on the Quagsire just to chip it away so I can set up with my Flapple. And we may be able to win from there. We will end up seeing, because obviously I clicked the Max Darkness here with my Gigantamax. Let's see if we're able to knock out Double Aid. I think it will. It's Hustle Boosted. It's a strong hit. We are able to knock out the Double Aid. We do get a crit. I don't think that crit mattered. Obviously, the previous hacks that I got, the Poison on Umbreon and the, you know, the others mattered. But I'm not sure if that one mattered as much. Uh, we're going to be able to knock out the Como. And everything else should drop. And this is a very strong Pokemon. Um Umbreon is weak enough at this point. The only question is, will I be able to land all of my attacks once the... Um, oh my god, that killed. <laughs> um, once my... Um, my Dynamax ends, obviously. So if I land here, great. I do. Fantastic. Here is Stiglyph. I bet this kills. I bet Grab Apple kills right now. Well, not anymore. And I dodge anyway. Or he dodges anyway, which is unfortunate. So here, I go Aromatisse, I click Wish, I should live this hit, I do barely, my goodness. Do I even, I think I live this one as well, no I don't, alright. Unfortunate for me, however, I can just go into Gengar, ideally live the, it's Lord Power, okay, well. Unfortunate that we ended up missing that attack, um, but obviously I got pretty fortunate with the hacks previously in the game, but. Yeah, well, we almost had a Grapple Sweep, or a Flapple Sweep rather. But alas, I ended up missing our move when we needed to hit it. Again, obviously, whatever. You know, hustle's hustle. 
That's the price you get when it you get that extra power, but if you missed, it's kind of unfortunate. Uh, now, our opponent. Interesting team. Durant, big threat. I forgot Mew was down here. Uh, Lapras. Definitely something that Flapple can deal with, for sure. I will lead with Gengar, as he does opt to lead with his Roserade, and then I will just click Sludge Wave. Yeah, you know, no, I'll click, um, I'll click Shadow Ball. I don't want him going into his Togedemaru. Gengar is a big threat versus his team, but there sh unless Roserade's randomly running extra sense 3, there shouldn't be anything that he can do to me. As he just pops off a Leaf Storm. Which will hurt, but again, like, I don't necessarily need health on this. He does not have any priority outside of first impression, which I will, uh, I will quad resist. Probably still does a lot to me though. Uh, Durant is very strong. Do you have an Arcanine? Obviously, though, it could be running a rock move. Uh, he's gonna go Noivern here. My initial switch will be Arcanine. Again, I am to the def, and that does absolutely nothing to me. I will then proceed to try and... Hmm. Oh, actually, I'll Morning Sun up, so I can switch into the Durant more successfully later on. Uh, he could go hard into Lapras, but if he does that, I have a Bandit of Cavalier right here. I've been debating making this AV, just to tank hits a little bit better, but, you know, we'll see. We'll see if I actually decide to do that. So yeah, we'll go with Cavalier here. Obviously, he could start cursing up, but... And Bandit as Cavalier is extremely strong. He is going to Dynamax and Max Dazzler immediately. Okay. Well. <laughs> or Gigantamax, rather. Well, gone. Okay. Y'all think Flapple kills? Probably not, right? Aromatisse is pretty expendable this game. So I will go, to go out into it and just click Protect. He's going to be able to get the Veil up. But at this point, I should be able to beat him 1v1. Obviously, if he has Curse, I'll be a bit of an issue. Um, though I don't believe he would have healing at this point, because he has, obviously, Ice move plus Water move. Goes out into Mew. I do very little damage to him. I'll go Rhyperior initially to see what he wants to do, as it is to end up going for Dragon Dance. And then I'll SD up. He already popped his Dynamax, so he can't hit me with anything, you know, anything too ridiculous. Yeah, let's D up just to negate the uh, the veil. Obviously, he has Psychic Fangs, but we are going to now be able to smack him. I kind of want a Dynamax, honestly. I don't think I need Dynamax with anything else, so I will. What does more hand? They do the same amount, and this gets up the sand to chip away at him, so I'm going to go for Max Rocks Fall. Yeah, and that should be doing a nice amount of damage to him. Obviously, anything he wants to go into is going to take a ton of damage as well. He does have the option to go Lapras afterwards, but I will make it so that he cannot go hard into Lapras ever. Alright, what's your play, bud? Your Dragon Dance Mew is so cool. I'm going to have to try that thing out. What does it run? Like, Dragon Dance, Psychic Fangs, like, Flare Blitz, and then some other move? Maybe like Earthquake or something along those lines? Gunk Shot, Poison Jab. Sure, Flapple's gonna have a hard time sweeping when he does have the Durant, because obviously first impression goes before Sucker Punch. Just remember that. Uh, but again, we do have Arcanine, so ideally we'll be able to deal with it. So he's gonna go for another Dragon Dance. That's not gonna work out for him. Because I will just be able to go for, um, you know, that move. I'm going to eat this close combat happily. And then I'm going to get the Spadef boost. I still doubt I live a, uh, a water move from Lapras. Although maybe. I have Solid Rock. I have plus one Spadef. Do I stay in, though, is the thing? I very well could. But I don't know if I want to, is the thing. Yeah, screw it. Let's see how much this does. We, oh my god, that did absolutely nothing. <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna. I need to run double dance right here at some point. That's like way too strong with the Dynamax thing. My goodness, I gotta take advantage of that before it's gone. Hello, Durant. 
I think I do save this, and I go hard into Arcanine. We see that you are Life Orb as well. I'll go for the burn here on something. If he wants to go Noivern, that's totally fine. If you have Stone Edge, there's a good chance you miss because of Hustle. And now is where I will sack my Rhyperior. As he does end up going right for the Draco Meteor. And at this point, I think I can afford to go out into Arimatis. And I think I want to double into um, my Arcanine. And I will. Yep, excellent. So I can just go for Flamethrower here. Whatever he wants to go into, whether it be Noivern uh, or Togedomaru. I just need Chip on this Noivern so I can knock it out with E-Speed later. I don't know if you have Roost. You do have Roost. Okay, that's important to note. Uh, however, I will just go right for the Moonblast since you do end up going for the U-Turn. So you do have U-Turn. That's good to know. Uh, you go hard to Rant, which will take a decent amount of Chip. Again, Arcanine's my play. I have to Morning Sun here. I can stay healthy. I basically just have to let the Durant chip itself away, and if he goes into Togedomaru on my Moonblast, he'll still be taking nice chip on that. And again, both of these two Steel types are checked by my Arcanine. He does have Super Power, he will be unable to knock me out, however, and I will be able to just Morning Sun up again. In fact, why do I even switch here? Why don't I just Flamethrower? Because that's not going to be doing much to me, if anything, at all. Uh, also, now that I know you're not Choice, I can also potentially win with my Gengar. Because obviously I have Scarf Shadow Ball. Scarf Shadow Ball knock out the Durant at this point. I'm not sure how much it'll do to Togemaru. He ends up stacking his Durant to the Moonblast, which is fantastic. Uh, in will come the Togedomaru. However, again, I do have the Arcanine here as he hits me with the Zing Zap. I'll just Flamethrower. Again, I don't have to risk anything, and he's the end. And he is going to end up forfeiting. So fantastic. We're able to pull away with another win there. Again, Flapple wasn't really able to do anything that game, but there, once again, there was potential, especially with Sucker Punch. Like, if I got a free switch into it, I would have probably just clicked Sucker Punch on the Noivern. Probably would have done a lot, too. Is, Flapple is extremely strong with the uh, base 110 attack and hustle. So, opponent's team actually very, very weak to Flapple. Like, if I set up one Dragon Dance, I believe I just sweep the room completely. Not that I can really set up versus anything, bar maybe the Colossal and maybe the Boltoned. If Bolton's locked into an electric move, then I definitely can. Uh, however, I am going to lead with Rhyperior here. As he ends up leading with Roserade, I will go hard out into my Arcanine to deal with that. He could be a Hazard's lead, obviously. That's always uh, always a chance of that. Especially since it doesn't get hidden power, it could be running that extra move slot. Let's see, so we're going to go Arcanine. He does end up going right for that Energy Ball. Again, totally fine by me. And here I think I will pull a double. I doubt you Energy Ball again, so I will go Rhyperior here. Like, if anything, you go Colossal or Torkoal. So that is correct. Uh, and I will just click Earthquake here. It hits everything very hard, bar obviously the Unpheasant. Ideally, you're not Solar Beam. And if you are, at least I can do a good amount of damage to you. You just go for Yon. Okay, understandable. In which case, I can use this opportunity to go into my Gengar. I'll be able to live the uh, the hit if he decides to go for it. And I can just kind of freely click Shadow Ball here. Actually, no. I'll, I'll click Sludge Wave here. In case he decided to go out into an, his Unfez and make a very aggressive play. We poison the Gudra. Sludge Wave has a apparently a 100% chance to, uh, to activate. Which is fantastic by me. I don't want to go Rhyperior, I'll go Arcanine on the potential Draco Meteor as he ends up going for Fire Blast, and then I can Morning Sun up. The reason I didn't go Rhyperior is because I want to keep that healthy for things like Bolton and Unpheasant. Like, Rhyperior is just overall very, very good versus his team. He has also Dragon Pulse over anything else, which is fantastic, over uh, Draco Meteor, which is very good for me. I also have Speed Him, which is cool, because that tells me he's uh, uninvested completely in Speed. So he does go Colossal. I do have Rhyperior for this. Which I will go hard into. I'll be able to take whatever he wants to go for. He does go for Rapid Spin. Like, I could get up rocks, but I just want to click Earthquake. Like, what does he have for this? Imagine if I were Rock Polish right now. I just won. Alright, so he's going to D-Max. But I don't think that's going to do much. I think you're still dead. Because you quad, you're quad, quad weak to this. No, you do live. Okay. Oh, that makes sense. 
They're only plus one speed. So I actually... What can I stack here? I don't think Aromatisse does much. Though it could be nice for you. How about a, Sca a Scavalier doesn't really do all that much, actually. Outside of dealing with Roserade, but I also have Arcanine for Roserade. And Scarf Gengar, obviously. I'll stack my Escavalier here. I don't really need it that much, uh, so I'll just click Iron Head here. I'll just click CC. Yeah, I don't mind losing this one. Uh, he is plus two Spadef. So rather than risk Focus Blast, I think I will... Well, how fast is this? Is Flapple still have speed? I need to do some good old... Good old mathification right here. So 174 times that. So you are faster than Flapple. But obviously I do have Sucker Punch to knock you out. I'll go Flapple. This is the Flapple live. Hopefully it's going to start doing something in this game. If I were Jolly, obviously I'd have speed naturally. But either way, Sucker Punch should be able to knock this thing out no matter what. He's uh, boosted his Spadef, not his Fizz Def. Flapple. Okay, you know what? We both missed. That's That's fair. That's fair. That's fair enough. Imagine if I DD'd there. I just won. <laughs> there we go. We're able to land the second one, thankfully. Honestly, Sucker Punch is so good versus his team. It really is just so good versus his team. So I might not even have to set up versus him. He's going to go on Pheasant. Um, I'll click Outrage because I don't want this thing setting up. And we actually live on 1%, so we're going to be able to get rid of the Unpheasant as well. Which is great. Uh, here, I can go out into my Arcanine, I believe I will go out into. Because it'll get Intimidate on whatever he wants to go in. If he goes into Roserade, I can just click Flamethrower for free. I'll eat the Sludge Bomb. It'll hurt because he's Life Orb, but I will be able to tank the hit. He actually ends up just going for Toxic, which I'm totally fine with. Uh, being able to get rid of the Roserade is really nice for my Rhyperior. He at this point has nothing that can Oko it whatsoever, even from the range that it's at. Goes Boltoned. Yeah, and why not go hard Rhyperior? I mean, I was going to go hard into... Um, I was going to go Aromatisse instead, because it's less valuable. But either way, I can just click Earthquake with my Rhyperior here. Thankfully, Flapple was able to do something that game. Or this game, rather. Obviously, it did a lot last game. It just came up a little bit short. He does end up going into his Gudra. I don't think I can lose this game. So, uh, I'm just going to stay in and click Earthquake. Your strongest move is uh, Ice Beam, which obviously cannot freeze me in the sun. And then you can knock out my Rhyperior, but I have a Scarf Gengar. I have an Arcanine with Intimidate. I have a Fizz Def Aromatisse. There's no way that Bolton's going to be able to sweep through me. Uh, sweep through me. A little voice crack there. <laughs> he does go for Psychic Fangs, which will be able to knock me out. But again, I do have my Aromatisse. I can click Moon Blast. Moon Blast into E-Speed from Arcanine probably kills him. Not sure if it does, but yeah, probably could. Uh, maybe not. I don't know. E speed's not very strong on Arcanine, so either way, he's not going to be able to do a KO us, and we'll just knock him out with the Moon Blast here. Psychic Fangs comes out, we kill him, and that's going to be another win for us. So we're going to get one more. This live might be a little bit shorter than my previous ones, but I got a few things to do today. Again, I I, I wish I was able to get up the other video with Ndidi because that was a really fun one. But either way, it was actually really fun in that live. I was about to win the game, and my opponent had, like, a stashed Poltegeist that was, uh, constantly... It was taking sand damage, right? So my plan was to just go out into my Hippowdon and kill it with sand damage, but the Madman goes for max overgrowth, which means he heals and doesn't die to sand, <laughs> and I lose, and it was... I, I just kept calling him so smart because it was just a very smart play. Like, obviously, that's kind of like, that's obviously, you know, that is the right play. It's just sometimes you don't always think about terrain and such and Dynamax moves and new mechanics and whatnot. But he did it and he beat me. So my opponent's team, he has Charizard. Also something I used in that, uh, that live, which destroyed everything because it's a monster. <laughs> like, it just is disgusting completely. Uh, that's actually a big reason why I have Spadef Arcanine on this, so I guess I should be running Wild Charge if I want to hit, uh, Arcanine, but either way, I'll be leading with my Rhyperior as he leads with his Beware. And right out into Aromatisse we go. This gets close combat now. 
So it's not going to be dropping its um, attack. You are abandoned for sure. I think here I go out in a Rhyperior because the okay I didn't expect Mantine to want to come out, but yeah, sure, okay. Aromatis, welcome back. Okay, interesting. So we're gonna go hard Flapple here because you switch into this are extremely limited, so limited in fact that I'm going to Dragon Dance up in your face as you go hard Serena, and I'm definitely just bopping you with this hit. Like goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> just just gone in an instant. Haxorus comes out. I'll max guard initially as he does go right for the outrage. Uh, and I'll just go harder, Romatisse. I should be able to live whatever he wants to go for. Maybe not like a um maybe not a max ooze or a poison jab, but uh I, I don't know. I'm not sure, honestly. I'll moonblast here. He can scald me if he wants to. I'll wish up again, and then I think I'm going to go hard into my Flapple. If I get burnt, I can go back into Aromatisse and, you know, Aromatherapy. So let's see. He's going to click Scald once again. Do we get burnt? We do not. Fantastic. Debating DDing up here again, but I think I'm just going to click Grab Apple, which will do so much damage to the Mantine. And he has Ice Beam, so I'm dead, and I'm sad. <laughs> Alright, that's unfortunate for me. Uh, I think here I trick the incoming Hippowdon. I don't really need my Scarf. Actually, I shouldn't need the Scarf, yeah. So I'll trick the incoming Hippowdon. He decides to stay in and Scald. Okay, well either way, we're going to be able to get rid of Mantine. Fantastic for me, and I have leftovers now, so I'll be recovering turn for turn. I was debating keeping it around for potentially plus one Charizard and potentially Scarf Haxorus, but... Arcanine should hopefully be able to deal with at least the Charizard, and then Aromatisse should be able to deal with the Haxorus. So I'm going to go this. Obviously, again, I have my Arcanine for this reason. Uh, that does way too much. I am max the def. That is ridiculous. We should live the second one, though, right? Yeah, because I figured that was a roll. Yeah, so keep clicking that button. That's fine. We're going to end up living the hits, and now I can Morning Sun up. And nice, you just wasted your entire Pokemon. Cool. You're going to click Return here, right? I'm going to go Hard right here on the Return. I expect that to be coming out right now. Um, as he actually goes for Darkest Lariat, totally fine. I get up my rocks here. You go Hippo. Not a big deal. Um... This is a problem for my team. He just goes right for Earthquake, okay. Either way, I'll click Banded Megahorn here. Uh, he'll outspeed me. But I want the Megahorn damage off. He does actually just stay in, so hopefully we do land as we do. That did not anywhere near as much as I thought it would. That's highly unfortunate, actually. <laughs> Alright, well I have to go Gengar and Shadow Ball for as much damage as possible. Goes hard, beware. I do knock you out with Focus Blast. So ideally we are able to connect. As we don't, hilarious. Uh, I guess I should have gone Aromatisse, but I don't know. I... You know, if we landed that, we were fine. Like, that definitely knocks you out, especially if you're banded, which I know you are at this point. Charizard's gonna come out. Gonna dodge the Fire Blast. Cool. How much would that have done? Not enough to 2 KO me. And we get the Spatak drop. Fantastic. Hurricanes me. Probably going for Confusions. He does get one. And <laughs> crits me on the following turn, and I don't have... I was gonna say, after missing Focus Blast, if I were to uh, have hit myself there, it would have been so funny. We protect... He is double edge. I will wish on that. I am Fizz Def, so I will be able to tank the hit. And then I will protect. Aromatisse is essentially my best way of winning. Hippowdon obviously doesn't get toxic anymore. I can just wish to all this, I think. Um, because obviously he's killing himself slowly. How much does double edge do? A little too much, so I think I will go Rhyperior here. I'll click Swords Dance, actually, as he goes hard Charizard, but I should live any hit that you go for, and I can just fire back with a, uh, a Rock Blast and get rid of this thing. Like, obviously, that'll chip away at me, but that's enough damage for now. Uh, you go Haxorus. You have to click either Earthquake or Close Combat. I don't think you click Poison Jab here. You don't. I can wish up. And Aromatisse should be able to win me this game. 
click Earthquake again. I don't mind. I can just protect on this turn. I don't care what you go out into. You do go Hippo. I'll click Moonblast. Uh, uh, nah, I should wish. I should definitely wish. I can Moonblast here, though. Wish up again. Moonblast again. How many slack offs yet? You still have 15 slack offs. Okay. Did he go for Whirlwind here? He had to. Yeah, so I burn here. I burn you here. Rather, I should say. Excellent. I doubt EQ kills me, so I will SD up here. As he gets me back in, into um, my Arcanine, that's fine. Another flamethrower. Uh, I will stall out his slack offs, and I don't think he can stop me. Because what I do here, if he wants to whirlwind me out, at some point I will get in my Arcanine at an appropriate time. And if not, then I just heal up my Aromatis again, so. Moonblast. Basically, at this point, I just need to get Chip on this, so he, um... Oh, he does actually opt to Earthquake there, interestingly enough. Okay. Well, either way, now I Swords Dance up. And now I click my Earthquake. Just to do a decent chunk of damage. It's still only going to do 50, but again, I need to stall out all of the Slack Offs. He ends up stacking Beware. Totally fine. At this point, I don't really need Arcanine, so I'm going to go into that. Just in case he predicts and goes for a Poison Jab. He ends up going for EQ and crits me through, but that's not that big of a deal. Once again, can just go out and uh, Aromatisse. Click Moonblast. Do a decent chunk to the Powdon. We have 11 left. <clears throat> Which is good. Because again, I'm doing a decent amount of damage with my Moonblast. Like, I'm going to stall you out relatively easily. I could have kept Arcanine online, but... Again, obviously, I didn't want to... Uh... Let's see, can I heal you up? Thank you, I can. Excellent. I didn't want to, uh, you know, to um, to risk my Aromatis getting hit by a Poison Jab immediately. But either way, we're doing pretty good work to this to on. We should be able to outstall it relatively easily. Because he only has 6 left, yeah. And I have 11 Moon Blasts. I still have Earthquakes with Rhyperior. I can SD up with Rhyperior. I doubt Haxorus kills me at this point with anything. Obviously, Mold Breaker goes through my ability. But still, shouldn't be that big of a deal. I'm even going to save BP here and go out into my right here. I'll click SD here. As you can do, click Slack Off, because that will allow me to Earthquake for more damage. And he actually goes for an Earthquake himself, uh, which means we're going to be able to win this game now. Because again, we're definitely not in range of anything from Haxorus. If he locks himself in a Poison Jab, he doesn't kill right here. If he locks himself into Close Combat or Earthquake, he doesn't kill Aromatisse. I doubt a crit would even kill Aromatisse at this point. And yes, yeah, so he's going to knock me out with the Earthquake. We definitely live this. He used his Dynamax already. We're going to be able to knock him out with the Moonblast, and we will be able to pull away with the win here. So that's going to be it for this live. Again, I know it's a little bit short, but I do have a few things to do today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Uh, click subscribe if you did enjoy. It helps out a lot. Uh, and please like the video if you did like it as well. That helps help me out a lot as well. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.